Hello, ambassadors, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, I think maybe showers in the morning, but the rainbow comes out this afternoon. How's that for a deal? The moon will actually move into your sign by the end of the day, so I do predict that you will most likely kind of get out on the grumpy side of bed. The moon starts in Taurus. It's a house of karma. You might have some wicked dreams. You might have trouble sleeping, especially as the day progresses. Whatever you're dealing with on that private side, well, attention is only going to get greater because Mars is in there. That's the house of war, masculine energy. It's almost out of that, by the way. It's going to move into Gemini in a few days. But before it does, it's going to make sure you get poked on every little sensitive spot you have in the subconscious. So as the moon moves across the sky, it's going to conjunct Mars. That's going to really turn up the volume to whatever it is you're dealing with on the inside. And on top of that, it will start to go in opposition to Jupiter. Now, I got good news. Remember last fall, it was around Thanksgiving, I said Jupiter was coming in the Sag, and all Geminis were going to expand their perception of what a long-term relationship can be. Usually, the universe basically says, did you know there's another whole floor on this building? It is an introduction. As a soul, I've been through that transit. It is an expansion, and it's kind of a wonder if you go with the fun. Well, Jupiter gave us a break. It actually started moving forward through the beginning of the year, and then it went into retrograde. Today, it starts moving forward again. That means we got six months, plus or minus, of this lesson to complete itself. And you're going to feel that energy move forward, because Jupiter does not mess around. So you might feel this anxiousness for your long-term relationship to be what it needs to be, or for you to draw on the right one now. That anxiousness is Jupiter moving forward, and it happens to be in opposition to the moon on the Mars, so you can see this setup here for morning thunderstorms. That's why I said the day might start off a little rough for Geminis. But as the day moves on, the moon moves into Gemini. It still stays in opposition to Jupiter, but at least it will balance you out by the close of the day. On top of that, we have another opposition, which I've talked about. We'll just bring it up now between Saturn saying end the mind games and Neptune saying you want to expand your philosophy, expand your religion. So there's a lot of tension in all of our lives, especially as we start the week. But as the week progresses, especially for you Geminis, things get a lot better. So hang in there, twins. All right, that's all we have for Monday. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So God.